So now we're going to talk about couplers. Ano nga ba yung couplers? Siya yung nagdudukpong from your compressor to your pneumatic hose and then to the tool that you are going to use. In this video, we're going to discuss about the different types of couplers that is available here in the Philippines for you to buy and use on your compressor. This is Dance Garage and I'm the Jack of all trades. It's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Pag ninyong kalad dumating? 4.30 Ha? 4.30 Okay, kuha na lang Ayan, dumating na yung package galing China Okay Thank you, akin nilalagyan Okay Thank you. So yan, tumating na yung package natin galing ng China. So it took about 6 days para makarating dito. Kaya hindi natin napakita sa inyo noon yung Milton type. Nga pala, M stands for Milton. Kaya tinatawag siyang M type. And it is also the European type different siya dun sa Japanese type so let's open this up let's see okay these are the quick couplers ito mismo yung kinakabit sa compressor ayan one fourth ang sukat na one fourth inch so ito yung mga couplers ng Milton type meron siyang apat na male and dalawang female so ano yung pagkakaiba ng dalawa male kasi look at this yung thread nya nasa labas that's the male type tapos naman sa female nasa loob yung thread pag pinasok mo yan sa loob kakasya siya so that's male and female get it? these are all your couplers ang dami nakakalito ba? Diba? alin ba talaga dyan? ang dapat mo ikabit. So basically, let's just part this on different types. These are the European types and the Japanese type. So para hindi tayo mas lalo malito, let's narrow it down first. So this is it. These are your, your European types and these are your Japanese type. This is the most common quick couplers that is available here in the Philippines. Sa Amerika, mas marami ang European type, mas eto ang ginagamit nila. And, I can assure you, mas marami pang klase ng M-type na ginagamit doon, mas lalo silang nalilito. Dahil maraming manufacturer ang gumagamit ng M-type doon. But, you can look at this, nagkakabari din sila sa sizes kahit sa unang tingin makikita mo halos parehas lang sila pero at closer look magkakaiba talaga sila so merong chart tayong ipapakita para makita nyo kung ano yung mga klase ng Milton type and it's the same on the Japanese side magkakaiba ng sizes and shape Merong maliit, may malaki, may mahaba, merong super liit. 
Pero basically, magkakaiba sila doon sa tip. If you take a look at this, okay ba talaga sila? And this one, this one is for your old hoses na kinakabit lang dito tapos nilalagyan ng clamp. So yung type na hose na nilalagay dito ay yung mga hindi nakakoil. Pwede nyo mabilihan sa mga hardware. Mura lang yun. Nagtanong ko kanina so it's about 25 pesos per meter. Pwede rin nyo naman siyang magamit sa quick coupler. So pag kinabit nyo dito yung hose pwede nyo siyang kabitan ng pang quick coupler. Either for Japanese like that or pwede kayong gumamit ng Milton type so dedicated itong mga to dito sa mga couplers nila if you use the European type hindi pwedeng pumasok yung Japanese type dyan Look, see, hindi kasha. Try natin yung iba. This one smaller. See, kung pasok siya pero hindi naglalak. Also try this one. No. So dedicated siya para lang sa mga Milton type. And see, kahit magkaiba yung shape niya tungdalawa, medyo mas mahaba yung isa both of them papasok sa European type there locks let's put it there it pops out like that see both of them locks in so, you have to... so now let's talk about hoses as you can see we have here our European type hose hose And right here, we have our Japanese type hose. So, parehas lang yan. Nakaduktong na siya dun sa loob. Ito rin siya. Like that. It's the Japanese type. See? Parehas lang. And sa European type, ganun din. And one marking na pwede nyo ma-identify kung European type or Japanese type yung hose or yung coupler is yung line nila. Makikita nyo, European types have two ridges here. Yung dalawang stripe siya. Sa Japanese type naman, regularly, meron siyang single ridge. So hindi na kayo malilito. So now let's measure them to see the difference. This is the M type, the European type. So that's about 4 inches. And this one is 3 and a half. So it doesn't matter. Parehas lang naman siyang papasok dito sa ating European cooker. Tingnan natin si Japanese type. Merong 4 inch. Merong 3 and a half. Merong 3 meron to lang pero it doesn't matter para parehas silang papasok dito sa quick coupler natin na pang Japanese type there 
Ito mas mahirap lang talaga ipasok yun sa mga Japanese type. So why ako bumili ng dalawang klase? Meron ako ipapakita sa inyo. Let's look right here. This is the European type and this is the Japanese type. Kung mapapansin nyo, look closer. Mas malaki ang opening ng sa Japanese type kesa sa European type. Pero dito na talaga magkakatalo sa opening niya. Measure natin yun sa European type. So that is just about 6 millimeters. Sa Japanese type. It's about 9 or 8 centimeter, millimeters. So, ano ibig sabihin nun? Mas malaki ang airflow na ibibigay ng Japanese type kesa sa European type. Pinatawag natin itong CFM. That stands for cubic feet per minute. Yun yung lakas ng hangin na ibinibigay ng ating compressor papunta sa ating tool. So guys, we have to remember, different types of tools requires different types of CFM. Dito na muna natin tatapusin ang video ng ito. Please join me in the part 2 of this video in where we discuss the different types of pneumatic tools and their respective CFM requirements. Also, we're going to continue on hooking up our couplers and hoses to our compressor. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you learned something and you want to know more, please subscribe. Libre lang yan. And to be notified about my latest videos and updates, click the bell button. So for now, as always, ciao!